Hey guys, it's Trevor with Embers Fireplaces and Outdoor Living. Today we're showing you this brand new Ironwood uh, Traeger smoker by Traeger. And we wanted to go over some of the differences and the upgrades that you get with the Ironwood versus the Pro Series, which is also new. And uh, just sort of educate you and let you decide at home if you think the uh, Ironwood's worth the upgrade over the Pro Series. So what's really cool about the Ironwood is Traeger has for a while now sort of had a gap in their lineup. Um, you know, they've had the, the old Pro Series, which was under $1,000, and then they had the Timberline, which was up to $2,000. So you're talking about double the price difference uh, for a grill with really nothing in the middle. The Ironwood sort of fills that gap. Um, if you want something a little nicer than the Pro Series, but you're, you're not an enthusiast enough to spend $2,000 on a smoker, uh, the Ironwood is definitely something to look at. It's sort of a hybrid between the Pro Series and the Timberline Series. And we'll sort of go over that. In our other videos, we told you all the new features in the new Pro Series. It does come with Wi-Fi controls, uh, but pretty much outside of the Wi-Fi controls and uh, the, the DC power where it's holding temperature a little bit better, uh, not a whole lot different between the Pro Series and the old Pro Series. But when we go to the Ironwood, we definitely get a lot of cool features uh, where I would say it's worth uh, the jump. Uh, if we look at the grill aesthetically, it only comes in black. And then we do get the stainless steel side shelf standard as well. And then you notice it doesn't have a chimney stack, so it's going to have the downdraft off the back of the grill. That's where your smoke's going to come out. But our controllability is much better with the Ironwood. It's gonna be much like the Timberline series where even though it's Wi-Fi, we can control everything right here on our board. On the Pro series, that's not an option. We don't really have any buttons right here. You have to control it pretty much on your phone. But if your phone's not handy, you can actually control it just like the Timberline on the grill itself. Outside of that, you do get the super smoke feature. So if you like cooking super low and slow, and you want to cook in a super smoke mode, again, much like the Timberline, you have this feature. It's basically almost like a Timberline grill without the Timberline price point. Uh, when we open up the hood here, you can see you do get ga a gasket here on the front. Uh, you get a front gasket only versus the Timberline, you get a gasket all the way around the grill. Uh, versus the Pro, we get no gasket. And then we get double insulated on the sides of the barrel, which is gonna help hold temperature. You pretty much lose the insulation on the hood, which you get on the Timberline. So, essentially, the Ironwood versus the Timberline, we lose an insulated hood. Um, outside of that, we lose a little bit of gasket material on the front of the grill. Outside of that, there's not a whole lot of difference that I've really seen just playing with this guy and cooking on it for a little bit. Um, but you're talking significant price difference, you know, four or $500. So we sort of have a good, better, best now. We have the good, which is the Pro Series. We have the better, which is the Iron Ironwood. And we have the best, which is the Timberline. So if you want the, the best grill Traeger offers, you need the Timberline. If you want a higher end Traeger product, uh, something that's not going to be available in big box stores, a, a non-Home -home Depot, non-Costco product, but you don't want to break the bank, this is where we're anticipating the Ironwood being our most popular smoker because it's sort of um, targeted towards the average consumer, but a little bit nicer product. So that's the Ironwood. Um, between the two, if I was going with the Pro or the Ironwood, if you can spring for it, I definitely recommend the Ironwood. It's gonna hold temperature a little bit better, especially if you're in a colder climate. Uh, and you just get that more controllability where you can control it right on the barbecue, which is a nice feature. Um, if not, if you're just on a price point, look at the Pro Series. It's certainly, for a price point, one of the best grills in the market for the price. Uh, so that's my two cents on the Ironwood. I'd love to hear your guys' comments, see what you guys think between the two grills. Uh, and see what you would, if you've cooked on them, let us know. We'd love to get your feedback. Uh, don't forget, these products are in our showroom in Westminster, Colorado. If, they, if you're in the Denver metro area, come up to our store, check these products out in person. And you can call or text our staff anytime at 303-800-5659. Or check out these products on our website at embersliving.com. Thanks so much for checking out this video.